Undy's cursed difficulty in Minecraft. Grass poisons you, flowers make you float, blocks explode when broken, all monsters are, well, let's just say they're a nightmare. Villagers turn evil, water disappears, after 2-10 to 10 hours lava spawns making the game unbeatable, portal blocks can randomly move, all pigmen are angry, endermen are invisible and angry, end crystals spawn with us, oh and, and every now and again your inventory randomly scatters everywhere. And I decided, for some reason, I was going to beat this on a random seed. So 6 days later after 30 hours of attempts, that's exactly what I did. Also, 70% of the people that watch my videos are already subscribed, so please, join the majority and subscribe. Okay, I, I did kind of steal that joke from Technoblade, but please subscribe anyway. And also, the 5 hour uncut video of this is in the description if for some reason you want to watch it. Okay, so this seed definitely looks like it has potential. We do need to find Acacia Village. Um, and Acacia Brimes are always by deserts. We have got a regular village there, well, a desert village. So that, that could be a good starting point. Um, so let's let's give this seed a go. Perfect, Acacia Brimes spotted. So the village is just there. Imagine living up there. What a, what a, what a sad life that is to live at the top of the mountain. <laughs> you gotta get down. Um, yeah, so there's the Acacia Biome. I see a village up ahead. So I had to travel a little bit in that direction, but that is, uh, that is gonna be exactly what I need. I think, in fact, I'm gonna go and nip in and try and... I'm going to set my spawn there and then steal some of the beds as well. So set up a nice little base of operations, got a few beds, that's uh, that's all good. Uh, so the reason I need Acacia Village is so I can blow up the houses and get loads of wood, so I can trade for emeralds and get ender pearls. so that's that's the thinking behind that. So now that I've decided this is a good enough seed to carry on on, okay, <laughs> if you want to go on there, yes you can, um, we're going to now begin phase two of the plan, and that is not to sleep, okay? That is to take out creepers, spend the night farming creepers. So this is a bit of a nightmare part of the run, but if you punch a creeper, it duplicates, so if we exploit that, as you can see, we can uh, we can pick up a ton of gunpowder. There we go. Ten gunpowder already, okay? And you just got to make sure you don't run out of creepers. Managed to get 21 gunpowder straight away there. That's really good, actually. <laughs> that never normally happens like that. Let's keep the sand as well. So, yeah, TNT is like the, the big thing that we need here. I did run out of creepers. There is one over there, but skeletons are like the only thing that can mess you up in the night, really. Because <laughs> you, you cannot avoid their arrows. It's pretty much possible. So I've got a total of 64, 42 there, and 14 on the ground there of gunpowder, which is more than enough that I need for the rest of the run. So don't have to go through nights anymore. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run far away from here, though. Uh, let those skeletons despawn, because <laughs> I can't pick up my stuff while they keep shooting me. You can tell it's been a wild night, can't you? There's creeper holes everywhere, and there's all the bees from the, from the spiders <laughs> left around. But... Hey, not a mob in sight. Plenty of this. Plenty of sand as well, which is always good. We're going to move on to phase two now, and that is getting all the wood that we need. If I go and craft this, how much TNT? We have got ourselves 24 TNT. Yeah, that is definitely more than enough. And now we get the joy of blowing up these poor villagers' houses. So, I've managed to finally make a collection table, and we're going to make a couple of trap doors. I've trapped a villager, and we're going to go and uh, trade with him against his will. So, if we place a couple of trap doors like this, and then we go into the crawling state, we can now reach him. We won't be able to reach him otherwise. I also need to put a collection table down first. That'd, that'd be a good idea. There we go. Right, we can only hope that he gives me the trade for sticks. If he doesn't, then it's, it's just going to be really annoying. He didn't. Are, are you kidding me? Now I'm going to have to try and release him without killing him. There we go. You can leave now, mate. Take two getting a Fletcher with sticks. Okay. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. <laughs> it was way more trouble than it was worth. The other guy ended up turning to a Vindicator, so I had to, yeah, go through and get another villager. Anyway, it's worked out. We're all right now. And so now we can keep giving this guy sticks and get ourselves 16 emeralds per stack of wood. Um, we're going to need quite a lot. We only like four stacks of wood in total. Unfortunately, this AK village wasn't the biggest one, so I did uh, miss out on quite a lot of wood, but we'll uh, we'll be able to get it through other means. Something handy I found. There's a village up here as well. So the other village is just there, as you can see in the background. And then we've got a village up here. Um, so what I'm doing, I've come here to blow up some trees. So these these great oak trees, well, they're just great, <laughs> to, to put it simply, for uh, for getting a lot of wood as well, okay? Because I need, I need quite a bit more still. Let's see how much we got from that. There we go. 16 off one explosion. That's that's a pretty good amount. Okay, things have got even more perfect. That is a dark oak forest. So those give you even more wood per tree than a, than a great oak. So we're, we're going to be going there collecting wood now. And to top it all off, there's going to be a brewing stand. Okay, well, I just died. But <laughs> yeah, there's also a brewing stand in there, which is absolutely perfect. I'm blowing up a dark oak tree and look at just how much I get from that. 25. So that's, you know, way better than even a, a great oak. It's it's perfect, is this? So, so far from trade, I managed to get 48 emeralds. I'm now bringing back all the dark oak logs to trade with them. 
Um, and it's going to get me way more emeralds than I need, which is uh, is perfect. For some reason, this golem has decided to go in here with the villager. I don't know why, so we're, <laughs> we're going to get rid of him. And then we're going to carefully trade with this guy. So we're going to trade with him 10 times here. And that'll upgrade him the first time. And then we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 lapis trades. And then 8 more lapis trades. There's actually 6 more lapis trades in the glowstone one, but, but, but anyway. And then he's giving me pearls. Perfect. Okay, right, let's go and get the rest of the emeralds. And uh, yeah, we can get all the pearls we need. Well, everything was looking to be smooth sailing, but then this villager decided he wants to start charging 50 <laughs> for an emerald. So I'm going to accept it just on the the, 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 uh, the premise that uh, I need to get the, the, the good deal with this Fletcher, uh, with this cleric before he puts his prices back up to five emeralds per ender pearl. At the moment, he's only charging four per ender pearl. So uh, we've got... Wait, he's just gone to five as well. So I could have waited for him to put his prices back down. That means I can only get 11 pearls. I need a few more sticks then, okay? I need, well, I need two more emeralds. Yeah, I, I don't really like getting scammed by villagers, but you know what isn't a scam? Hitting that subscribe button. So if you're enjoying the video, please consider subscribing as I'm trying to reach 1 million subscribers. And if you do subscribe, feel free to let me know down below in the comments. Look at this, I'm back at the little desert village where it all began. I've come to steal their wheat and steal their golem. So in a normal furnace, smelting takes an hour because it's cursed, but... <laughs> In a, uh, in a blast furnace or in a smoker, you can just smelt like normal. I guess he, he forgot to sort that out. So uh, we might as well chuck all that in there. And look at the speed, okay? So we'll get a, we'll get a few iron buckets. We've already got some iron here. So two iron buckets should be enough. I think I've spotted two things of lava. I think there's one just there. Okay, where did that go? There it is. And uh, there's also one up ahead that I'm just running to. Right there. That also looks like lava. So I think I'll go for this one, assuming there's plenty in there. Yeah, this is perfect. Okay, right. We're going to build a portal around here. Oh my goodness, that is annoying. Yeah, I, I had a, a lot in my inventory and um, <laughs> it's gone everywhere. So now I have all the buckets I need. We begin the very fun task of building another portal. And it has to be massive. It has to be 20 by 5 um, because small ones just won't work. And at long last... The portal is finished, okay? That <laughs> took forever, but uh, yeah, now I need to... Well, I need to get rid of that cobble there, and then I need to light it. So in order to light it, I'm going to put lava in here, then when either of these blocks set on fire, they'll spread to there, and then it'll, uh, it'll light the portal. Okay, perfect. The portal is lit. We may have uh, spread lava everywhere, but <laughs> I'm happy with that. And so now we shall spy out the nether. And... Okay, we have just got the perfect... Si oh my goodness, this is perfect. Right, all I need now is a blaze spawner that's underground. So that one's above ground. If I can find an underground one, that's going to be better. I can make an above ground one work, but underground is a little bit better. Okay, the other one's there. So they're both above ground. Um, I'm going to have to box it in with a load of dirt. And there we go. Blaze rod number one. So I've put together this nice little killing room. Okay, we don't want them to get it out, though. Um, yeah, just basically a roof on. And then we can, uh, we can easily take blaze out. And the reason the blaze are taking damage is because they spawn riding a bat. So the bat can fly around, but the bat flies into the roof and causes the blaze to take damage. So they go around crazy, but... They're quite easy to, uh, to well, they take themselves out, basically. So <laughs> all I have to do is just uh, stand there and hit them. Why did I do that? Why did I not think that through? I was just like, oh, I need some wood. I'll go get some. Like, oh, there's wood here. I'll just grab that. Didn't think it was going to blow up, did I? Well, obviously it was going to blow up. I've got to relight the portal now. <laughs> okay, disaster averted. All right, I've, I've relit the portal. No need to worry. Okay, finally, I've got myself the last blaze rod. I've, I've been through two acts of that. Watch that just get oofed away. Okay, we got, we've got two blaze rods. I don't know where that came from. Alrighty, so we've got to try and now get back to the portal chest without getting oofed. If we get oofed, we've had it, okay? Because that will go in the lava or in the fire. And I'll have to get all the blaze rods again. Don't want to have to do that, so it's always a bit of pressure on this bit. Still not safe out of the woods just yet. All right, perfect. We're, uh, we're there. So I'm now going to bring everything I need to... Uh, take with me basically to defeat the ender dragon um so i think that's everything i don't need to bring anything else do i okay and uh, yeah once we leave the nether we're going to go in search of the stronghold so we're going to grab the dirt and the blaze rods the reason um i'm doing it like this is because when you go through this nether portal now back from the nether it'll teleport you to a random place so this is this is the spot that it's taken me to okay um interesting area did i bring enough wood okay let's make ourselves a chest and get everything in it ASAP because I do not want to get oofed. Then we're going to craft the eyes of Ender. Perfect. We're about three hours in, by the way, for context, which to get this far in three hours, I am very, very happy with. So it's taking me to coordinates minus 18,000, as you can see. So we we possibly could be near a stronghold. We're in the sort of vicinity of where strongholds start to generate anyway. So I've thrown the first eye of Ender and it's sending me in this direction. I really hope I don't have to go through the ocean. So this is very worrying. It looks like it is pointing me to 
the ocean. So just to see if it's not down there, I'm gonna throw an eye vendor and hope. No, okay, we've gotta we've gotta get through that ocean. Um okay, we lost an eye vendor, we're down to twelve. The the big problem with that is that water disappears, so getting through an ocean is is a nightmare. And if you get oofed, it's over. However, I might be able to go around that way. Yeah, that looks like a possibility. Unless the stronghold is somewhere around here, my prediction was incorrect because, uh, yeah, there's no more land. That is that is just ocean, okay? But that is where I came from, across there. So I've, I can come across here on land. There is a temple here, so we might find something useful. I'm thinking maybe some TNT. That would come in handy. Well, there was an Enderman down there, and he has uh, decided to press on the presser plate, so... There goes all the loot, and yeah, we ain't going down there. This could literally be a make or break part of the run, all right? Is the stronghold on this side of the land or over that ocean? Thank goodness for that. It's somewhere over there. Okay, so according to my calculations, the stronghold should be somewhere around here. All right, so it's in that direction. So this eye vendor should tell me exactly where it is. Yeah, yeah, okay, perfect. So it's right below me, pretty much. And it dropped, good stuff. Okay, well, now that we've found the stronghold, I'm ready to take all my items and transport them over there. Hopefully I don't get oofed. But if I do, yeah, it's, it's going to be a nightmare, really. Oh, there we go. I just got oof. All right. I, didn't, I barely just got from the portal and already it, it happened. To be honest, there's only three things I can think of that can stop me from beating this challenge now. And that is I could get oofed and my blaze rod and ender pearl could go into uh, cactuses. I could get the lava thing that happens where lava just spawns on you no matter where you go. You can't escape it. Which can happen anywhere from two to ten hours in. We're three and a half hours in, so anything could happen. I've had it last seven hours for me. Sometimes it's happened after five hours. Sometimes it's happened after three hours, so... Yeah, that, that could go wrong. Or when I'm placing the Eyes of Ender in the end portal, I could have one of the portal blocks move, which is a tiny chance that that's going to happen. It's never happened to me, but uh, <laughs> it'll probably happen the one time I'm about to do the challenge. So the trick to this is you just, you've got to dig straight down. And I know you're going to die a lot doing that, but you need to do that because otherwise, um, if you build like try and build a staircase tunnel and be careful about it, then that staircase tunnel gets all dark. And then when you get blindness, when you go, if you go below level 49, you get blindness. So then you won't be able to see properly but if you're up here you can look down and see if you can spot the stronghold so that just makes it easier so it is a bit of a pain but you've, you've got to do it digging down okay oh we found it perfect all right we've got to the stronghold um this is probably going to kill me as i break this yeah we've also now gone down low enough to get blind to see if i jump we're in, we're in the low point so yeah so this is the start of the stronghold i guess it's it's time to start exploring i'm going to leave my pickaxe here because i'm probably going to end up losing it um yeah this is this is yeah hands down the worst part of the entire run Trying to get around here, find the portal whilst you've got blindness. <laughs> I just need to try and listen out for silverfish. Um, so I have the subtitles on as well. I think I've gone too far this way, to be honest. It's probably not in this direction then, if I've come this far and, and not come across the portal. Oh wait, I just heard it. I heard a silverfish. It was to my left. Is it through here? Okay, I, I definitely heard a silverfish to my left. Okay, the wall does extend through here, so this might be a way through. I don't think this is the way you're meant to get to it. Let's have a look. Oh, it is, a, it is a, 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 an intended room. So it was kind of... Hmm. It felt like... Yeah, I feel like I've gone too far this way now. So there must be... Yeah, I, I, I'm kind of in the right vicinity at least. Um, I just need to go maybe a different route. I hear lava, and that means I'm I'm below it. But I'm in an abandoned mine shaft. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I guess I pretty much know where it is. I'm just somewhere right below it then. Okay, I found it. Alrighty. Um, I'm not quite sure how I managed to find it, but uh, we're here. And we've got... It's got one eye in as well, which is, uh, is good news. So I've managed to work out the way there. Basically, we can nip through this little shortcut that I, uh, I accidentally... Blew, well, the creeper blew up and it blew up the shortcut. Are you kidding me? How did you get through that? <laughs> Man, these guys are crazy. Alright, anyway, you come through here. Can we outrun him? We might be able to. No, we can't. So as I was saying, we go along here and then we come to here. And you head down these stairs. Work your way along here and go down some more stairs. And I died. Although I'm pretty confident to continue the tour with my full inventory because I feel like I can I can make it through. I know exactly where I'm going. There is quite a few mobs waiting for me here, but you know what? If I just get everything in the chest here, come on, SP, get the eyes of Endrick. All right, they'll, they'll be safely on the ground. That's fine. Okay, there we go. I've got the rest of my items, so I'll just chuck those in the chest. Perfect. Seems like the skeletons are fighting right now, which is... And now there's just one final thing that I need to get, and then I'm ready to battle the Ender Dragon. And that is flowers. I'm now armed with plenty of flowers. We're coming up to about four hours into the run and I'm now ready to fight the ender dragon. This is perfect. I can block this off. No one could get in now. I have a bed here. If this misplaces, it's, it's big trouble. We're okay. We can set our spawn. I'm also going to cover up all the lava but that in case uh, my inventory oofs, I don't want my eyes of ender to go into the lava. It's been a stressful run. 
But the end portal's worked. Okay, perfect. Blocks didn't misplace. We're ready now to battle the Ender Dragon. So before I do anything, I want to see what the end is like. Okay, we've got a good spawn. We've got an underground one, so this means we've got a bit of bit of protection from the Enderman. I've also realised that I've uh, <laughs> kind of trapped myself in here. So the first thing I've done since getting to the end is mine up a ton of endstone, which is, uh, I guess, the first thing that I kind of need. So if you didn't know here, all Endermen are invisible, and they're all aggro on you all the time. Like, I've got an army of them chasing me already. This is, <laughs> this is torture. So what I've done is I've created an area in here where the, I'll be safe from the Enderman, because obviously the Enderman... Uh, will attack me when I'm trying to defeat the end dragon. So now, I'm going to get rid of all the pillars. And thankfully, taking out the pillars is actually a really easy thing. So you just literally... Uh... Okay, guys, we've had a setback. It turns out that these fly flowers appear to not actually make you float up in the air. So what should have been a, a really straightforward uh, <laughs> thing is, is going to get a little bit more complicated. Thankfully, I did also bring dandelions, but I only have seven of them. So... I'm going to maybe have to try and conserve them a bit, alright? This, this should still work out okay, though. There we go. That's what's supposed to happen. Normally, when you break an end crystal, it would spawn a wither. But if you break an end crystal by blowing it up with another block, nothing bad happens. Oh, are you kidding me? What a terrible time for an oof when I'm up here. I don't know what just happened there. I just jumped off and, and I didn't die. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to complain. I don't know. I don't know what I did there, though. Another crystal down. Onto there. Perfect. I'll go away in a dragon. It's alright. We got this. Perfect. Okay, this is the most aggressive dragon I think I've ever gone against, but we're, <laughs> we're doing it. I'm going to attempt to fly past all of this stuff and uh, and get off here. Perfect. And here goes another one. Go like that now. There we go. Alrighty, now we've just got to place a block below us. And if we just pop a little block there, break that. That's another crystal down. Okay, we need to get up to the top of that one. Although I've only got one flower left, so I might need to uh, might need to do some more. Well, at least I might need to break the current. What on earth? All right, just fly into me, why don't you? If my memory serves me correctly, you can use this daisy here to float. Yeah, perfect. Okay, that's that's back on track. We've definitely got enough. Oh, okay. <laughs> We've definitely got enough flowers to uh, to get this done. All right, it, it, the, the dragons kind of blocked me way a little bit here. Okay, it's all disappeared now. We're back on track. Is this going to get me to the top? Near, near enough. <laughs> right, we'll break that. So how many towers we got left? Um, two towers left. Okay. So for this one, we can just do a nice little steady float up. Uh, we're going to go probably away above where we need to be. And then we'll break this. Perfect. And then that just leaves me with the final tower. And I'm going to attempt to go to it in style. Okay, that'll still work, right? Yeah, go on. Oh no, dragon messed me up. Come on, we can still make it. We can still make it. Maybe we can't still make it. <laughs> I would have made that if the dragon hadn't have ruined it. My moment of glory. I was trying to style on him and everything. And he was like, nope, you're not doing that today. Well, despite the dragon's attempt to sabotage me, we're still able to build up here. Place that there. Break the final tower. Well, uh, okay, we've, we've got a big thing there. Let's uh, let's boat off it in this direction. Alrighty, we're now on the phase of taking out the dragon. So this is how we're going to hurt the dragon. Alright, we're just going to keep replacing these blocks. And, uh, and hitting him. Okay, it's going to take a while to defeat him, but uh, it, it will work eventually. The dragon's health is getting lower and lower. Okay, what? You stop for one hit? What kind of a joke is this? I don't know why I'm not, when you're on a server, it's like that. When you're on a single player world, he'd let you take out a third of his health. On a server, he just flies off, like, almost straight away. Here we go again. <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> Alright, I'm pretty much out of dirt, which is uh, the only worry. Alright, but uh, to be honest, I might be able to finish him off the next time he comes down. Okay, the dragon is coming down. This could be it. This could be it when I defeat it. Come on. Don't fly away. Just let me finish you off. Alright. Okay. Very, very close. <laughs> I'm nearly out of dirt again. I need to go out and collect more. Okay, sure this is it now. The dragon's got no health left. Why didn't it blow up? Why didn't it blow up? Wait, what? Okay, we'll try again. We got him! It doesn't matter. Okay, okay, perfect. Right. Phase two of the plan, alright? We have to, um, we need to get a load of blocks, alright? It's not over yet. The reason I need a load of blocks is because you cannot just walk into the end portal, it'll disappear. Fundy tried to make the game completely unbeatable, but there is a trick where if you throw an ender pearl from really high up and land in the end portal, then you'll still complete the game. So, we need, we need about 30 blocks, something like that, 30, 40 blocks, and then, uh, Ender pearl into the end portal. Okay, we're now five hours in. I've got all the blocks I need. I've got everything I need. All I need to do is just end up, stack up and ender pearl into the portal. The only thing that can go wrong is if I get the lava spawning on me thing. That's the only thing that can stop me. It could happen any second, but I'm, I'm hopeful that we'll be all right. Okay, let's just let's just bridge up right up to uh, using all these blocks. I should be high up enough with that. All right, don't miss this ender pearl, SB, and you've done it. 
come on. Wait, did we get the glitch? It's glitched me. Oh no, that means I've got to stack up again. Oh, this is this is really, really bad. Basically got the rare bug where the game thinks you're in the portal, but you're actually not. I, I think I have to re-log to make it work. Even that doesn't work. Like I can keep pressing escape, it doesn't work. I'm gonna have to reset Minecraft. Okay, and it's taken me back to the portal. So technically I did I did complete it. I've done it. So it did glitch, but when I re-logged, I was back in the overworld with my inventory, which means I did successfully go through the ender portal, which means I beat Fundy's cursed difficulty in Minecraft. This has been six days in the making. It's taken me five hours today, but this is like, yeah, 40 hours or whatever I've, I've spent on it. It's in absolutely insane, especially on a random seed, not knowing where things are. This seed was amazing. Everything just worked out, fell into place perfectly. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you got this far in the video, I'm sure you'll enjoy other videos on my channel. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And hopefully I will see you guys next time.